In this video, we will learn how to edit the labels of Boolean buttons. Boolean controls and indicators have Boolean text labels in addition to, to their owned labels. Boolean text labels change depending on the value of the control or indicator. Initially, most Boolean controls and indicators display the word on in the true state and the word off in the false state. When we click the button with the operating tool, the control toggles to the opposite state. Tip. Label the boolean button so that its name corresponds to the state of the control or indicator. For example, we can use on for true and off for false. Also indicate the default state in parentheses. By default, the label centers on the button. Follow these steps to practice manipulating the label. Add a push button to the front panel. Right click the button and select visible items and then boolean text from the shortcut menu. The word off appears on the boolean button. With the positioning tool, select the text and move it to the location we want. We can also use the lock text in center from the shortcut menu to return the text to its default location. To unlock the text, right click the boolean button and select release text from the shortcut menu and then you can move it again. We can use the labeling tool to change the text in either state. For example, change on to yes. We can select the boolean text and use the text settings pull down menu on the toolbar to change the font size and color of the text. Hide the boolean text from both states by right clicking the button and going to visible items and then selecting boolean text from the shortcut menu. By default we can change the label for each state of labeled buttons located on the controls palette. To do so, for label buttons such as OK and cancel buttons,
we must edit the button to allow different text strings for each state. Follow these steps to change the label button to allow multiple text strings. Verify that the boolean text is visible. To display the boolean text, right click the control and select visible items and then boolean text from the shortcut menu. Right click the button and select advanced and then customize from the shortcut menu to display the control editor window. In the control editor window, right click the button and select multiple text strings from the shortcut menu. We can select file menu and then apply changes. If we want to use the button in other VIs, we can save it as a custom control. You can also use the boolean properties to manipulate boolean labels programmatically. For example, let's change the colors. foreground color and the background color. Also let's change the strings. and so on.